Sagittarius, Jackie Thomas. This is your general reading for the week of September 21st, 2020. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, retweet. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com. Okay, Sagittarius, I've named your video Secrets Revealed and New Beginnings. Things that you thought you knew, things that you are suspicious of, will be confirmed to you in this week of the 21st. And, of course, 22nd is the first day of fall, so we're welcoming fall as well. Um, definite new beginnings. Be warned of someone taking advantage of you. Get the rest that you need. Overall, Sagittarius, you guys are under some great healing energy whether it's physical and emotional might be a little bit both but what i'm seeing is just a smooth contented energy of getting things under control contentment of just being happy where you are if that makes sense so we're going to start with my elemental deck and then we're going to work into the regular deck we're looking at sagittarius this is your week of september 21st 2020 not what you thought it would be. Now, that's really significant when I say that there's going to be secrets revealed and that something that you thought you knew was going to be confirmed is not what you thought. Reuniting with someone from your past. Any unhappiness is coming from allowing negative thoughts in. Don't allow that. Moving forward, there is a Scorpio energy around you. There are new doors opening up for you guys. The signing of a legal contract and or document. And this could also mean a large lease or purchase. New money coming in. Move forward and stop procrastinating. And a new emotional path. So Sagittarius, when I look at this deck, what do I have? I have balance here. I have balance in water. I have balance in air. That's that, that healing energy that I'm talking about. And the new beginnings on earth. And the only major kind of you had in this reading was. It is not what you thought it would be. So whatever confirmation you're about to get, it's not anything that you thought it was going to be. And moving on with your week of September 21st, 2020. Also, like the warning that you're only unhappy if you allow it, if you allow those thoughts to creep in. Okay, Sagittarius. Five of staffs, five of wands, the nine of wands, and the five of cups. Okay, going back to allowing those negative thoughts in. You still have some obstacles to overcome, but this is a loss of sleep. And what the loss of sleep is coming from is you're in your head. You need to get out of your own head. You're overthinking things too much. Because of that, we have the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is you looking down. This shows that you're over-analytical. You're depressing yourself, Sagittarius. You're bringing yourself down. Okay? So, no one's going to do that to you. There's nothing surrounding you to say that. This is your thoughts that are controlling things. There it is. Get the rest that you need. There's that healing energy. The Knight of Swords indicates something is rushing in. What is rushing in is the Queen of Cups. This is an offer of love. This is someone telling you to open your heart. And it's someone new. Okay? I want to put that out there. It's going to be really important to my singles. It's going to be someone new. Four of Staffs. Six of Cups. Interesting. And Six of Wands. Okay, so... 
Well, we've got an interesting story unfolding here, Sagittarius. So I always say you were working for the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups. You got the Four of Wands. Right after the offer of love from someone new comes the Four of Wands. This is the new relationship. This is an actual relationship. This is taking things to another level as far as living together, commitments, things of that nature. Now, right beside that, we have someone from the past. Well, we saw back here. Reuniting with someone from the past. This is also leading to total victory. Do not confuse the love life is not someone from the past. The love life is someone new. Now, what I am seeing here, and I'm being honest, when it comes to love, I'm seeing someone from the past, and I'm seeing something new. The new one is the way to go, okay? Because the one here from the past that you're reuniting with leads to victory and success, but not in matters of the heart, okay? This is being surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by. Victory, success, expanding of the social circle. Could be hanging out. Could be business deals, but not love. Okay? And I think, Sagittarius, we've been seeing that for a while where we need some clarity on that. Nine of coins, financial independence could very well be coming from this person from the past. I really think this person from the past is coming in with some kind of business offer, or some kind of business deal. Ooh, the tower. The Ten of Swords and the Page of Coins. Well, now, this just gets more and more interesting the more cards I pull. So we have money coming from something from the past. We have the Tower. There's the all hell breaking loose and you're pissed off. With that is because someone has done you wrong. What have they done you wrong on? A business deal. Interesting. So, this person from the past, I must say it's a little bit of warning in regards to money. I don't think it has to do with that person from the past. What I'm breaking it down here, love life, okay? Something new is going to be the way to go. The person from the past, be open to victory and success. But I'm going to retract where I said it was on business because this business deal is something... It's one of those, I'm going to say, if it appears too good to be true, it probably is. There's your temper. There's someone that's done you wrong. Okay? There is money coming in from the past. And it's good money because it's financial independence. But this is on a specific business deal. Something's shady with a business deal. Okay? Now, signs that may or may not resonate with you guys. Capricorn. Capricorn, Leo are the two signs that I see for you guys. Did we have any signs pop up here? We did not. Capricorn and Leo may or may not resonate with you guys. And a Scorpio. So, there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out your dailies your weekend. And I will be live on Wednesday. See you soon. Bye.